Hi, everyone. It's no Nona Grace. Oh, don't laugh at me. <laughs> He's already starting. Um, this video is not a tag. I was tagged several times, and so those last three videos were tags. This one is not one. Um, this one you're going to see. I don't even know what order you're going to see it in. Today I got some baby chicks from Jessica. She had a, a hen, a white hen, Dorothy is her name. And the reason she's named Dorothy is, you know, on The Wizard of Oz, Dorothy wanted to go home. Well, this hen she gave away to another family that lived nearby. And all of a sudden, Dorothy shows up back home. And the reason she came back home is she had seven little, actually nine eggs that she was trying to hatch. And um, seven of those eggs hatched. The other two were duds. There was nothing in them. But anyways, um, she, they've been in the house for about a week. They were born Easter. And so they've been in the house. And today they were brought to me. And so today Jim put a uh, divided my enclosed run with some chicken wire so that they they can get out of there. They were in like a dog crate type thing so that they're, they had their water and their food and, and their bedding and the mama really wanted to get into the dirt and scratch around so in order to do that we fixed it so she can and so she's got her whole section and this way the other hens can see her but yet they'll leave her alone and the babies can't scoot out. Talk about scoot out. Oh, good heavens. <laughs> Silver Fox and her babies. You should have seen them today. It's been a real fiasco. I think you might even get a little clip of that. I'm not sure. I don't remember. I know I had the camera with me, but I don't remember if I was running it or not. But um, I had to walk through the gushy yard, which was mucky mud, because my hill has a lot of water on it. We do have a French drain up there to keep it drier down here, but above that French drain, it is really, really it's all wet. It's clay and shale up there. It's and real it's wet. squishy, real squishy, muddy. And um, then I, and she got out several times. In fact, I had to look for her to see where in the world she was. And then she went under the pine tree. And I think we need to trim some of the lower limbs of the pine tree so that when she goes under the pine tree, I can go under the pine tree because right now I can't get under there. There's too many dead branches that are real low. This pine tree goes very low. It's a good hiding place for the hen and she used it. So we had to undo the electric fence and let her in and the babies in because she, the babies could walk through the little electric fence because they're still small enough where they don't get zapped. Where she would try to, instead of flying up over, she kept trying to fly through the fence. It's like you can find your way out. Why can't you find your way back in? Just before I started the video, here she is. Jim was at the sink. He does the dishes. And he was telling me. <laughs> He was telling me, so her fox and her babies are out again, and they're by the plexiglass window. So I went out, opened the gate, and I walked her towards the door, and she went in, and the babies went in. And then we just came in from, I wanted the mama, new mama bird, Dorothy, I want her to sleep in the, in the enclosed dog house with the hay. And she was sitting on the ground and all her babies were there, so I think she was getting ready for the bedtime. I went out there, picked up Dorothy, and a few of her babies went we in. We went out there. Well, wait a minute. I went out there, picked up Dorothy, and um, some of the babies went in with her, but the other babies just kind of ran, and they were going back and forth, back and forth. And every time I would go to the side they were on, they'd run to the other side. So I asked Jim to come out, and he helped me gather the babies. He actually caught four babies in one hand. And they're they're just tiny little things. They're so small compared to Silver Fox's babies. And so that's what we just did. We just put them to bed. So Mama <laughs> Dorothy has got her babies to bed and Mama Silver Fox is still out scratching around in the grass with her babies. They'll be going in pretty soon because it's getting kind of late. And then I will uh, lock them all. She's up on the roost right now. She's up on the roost? Yep. Well, roost I wonder if her babies are up the there. Building. Her babies sometimes go on the roost with her, I've noticed. Yeah. Well, it's, a, it's still the outside roost, but oh. she's up there, and I think yeah, that's where she one sits. baby. Yeah, they sit up there with her. Yeah. So she'll be going to bed pretty soon. And so that's the, the day. And then you'll see my bookcase inside and it's really huge. The picture makes it look like it's not so big. It's huge. 
it's really huge and we just have to put well Jim has to because I don't do it I'm sure he'll do it I say we when it's always he <laughs> always always um he's got to put the urethane when it, polyurethane. polyurethane on it to make it nice and shiny because I like shine I love things that shine and he did have satin poly polyurethane and I said I don't like satin I like shiny so he had to buy me some shiny and so that's what he's got to do next he got the tarps up there and and ready to go and then I was saying you know I like those cow panels on the that people are using over their garden beds that maybe we should do something like that and he said he built a frame for our our raised bed and I said you did I don't remember and so he brought that down and so it's like if you've ever seen anybody build a cold frame it's sort of like that but it's got a teepee top so that my plants can grow tall and I can protect them so hopefully the season can be lengthened because this is it's taking forever for it to get warm and once it gets warm it doesn't seem like it's very long and then it starts to get cold and when it gets cold you can see the difference in the like peppers will start to show this darkness that will appear on them whereas in the summer when it's the sunshine they're nice and pretty so I think that was everything I went oh and if you could you know I don't know if you know Bob from Mountain Crest Farms he had his surgery today so you might want to say a little prayer to um, help him to get fast recovery and we will all talk to you again tomorrow. I'll let you know how he's doing when I hear how he's doing. And um, so I will talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye. Today my daughter brought the baby chicks and the mama that she had. She had, um, she had chickens for years. And um, something was getting her hens. And so she had like five hens left. So she gave them to the neighbor, and this hen, Dorothy is her name. She's a white hen. She came back because she had hatched out seven little babies. Can you see them? And so I've got her in this cage so that she can um, acclimate and the others can acclimate with her. And this way they will get used to her being here and hopefully she blends well with the others and when the babies are a little bit bigger we'll let her out and let them roam right now my hens are checking her out and when she becomes just old news then we'll let her um oh wow look at those, those babies when she becomes old news look at them how cute she has seven babies. Oh, that's your beautiful tail. She's trying to teach him to scratch. The thing is, they, they can't scratch the dirt yet, but it won't be long and I'll let her out when the others don't pay any attention to her. out earlier to see what Jim was doing and my camera was dead so I didn't get you taken off his jacket because he says it's pretty warm inside the chicken house. He's gonna try to make it so that the mama hen can actually get out and dig in the dirt with her babies and so to do that he has to secure it enough so that the other hens cannot get in there and bother her. Wow! That stuff's not easy to work with, is it? No, it's not. But it'll... It'll work good. Yep. Excuse me. Sorry. Where's Silver Fox and her baby? 
I gotta go find her. Cause she's, she takes off. She's so bad. Oh, there she is way over in the, oh, she's way out and about. Shame on her. I'm gonna have to go get her in. Silver Fox, you can't be out here. Go back. Come on, you go back. You flew over, you can fly back. Nope, nope, nope. Not that direction, it's too muddy. Ugh. Go the other way. Go, go, go. Keep going. Keep going, uh-uh, keep going. No, 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 no. Ah, fly up over. No. Fly up over. Oh. You need to fly up over. Oh, I gotta go shut the gate. There, they're back out. Oh. She's so bad. She's back out again. She's not, she, she gets nervous because her babies can go through the gate and then it's like she flew over to get over there, fly back. I'm open this one. Maybe she'll come back in. You girls stay in there. I gotta go get her. Oh, it's cold for me out here. It's, it looks warm, but it's not warm. Ah, this is squishy ground. Go around the tree, because she's underneath the tree, and I want her to go towards the gate. Oh, squish, squish, squish. Where are you, Mama? Come on. Uh, 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 uh. Don't go underneath there and further. Oh, you're so bad. Go back through the squish. Oh, it's muddy here. So muddy. You need to go back up above. Oh, she's something else. I just gave the girls chicken scratch and everybody's eating. And look, at there's the new mama with her babies. She has seven babies. Hey, little ones. There you go. Aren't they adorable? This is Dorothy. And the reason she was named Dorothy is because Dorothy wanted to go home and Dorothy was brought to another farm and um, she came back home because she had her babies that she wanted to take care of and finish hatching. And there's seven of them. She was sitting on nine eggs, but two of the eggs didn't have anything in them. They were blank. But there they are. And there's Silver Fox with her two babies. Her babies are getting so big in comparison. Silver Fox babies. And there's the one that barks at me all the time. Tractor going up the hill. And 
and this is Emma. Emma's the first to come whenever she sees me. Hi, Emma. Are you gonna say hi to the camera? Or are you gonna ignore it? You're pretty good. And the girls are all at the drinking fountain. Oh, and the black one's gonna leave because she's antisocial. The other two are social. The one, this one right here with these feathers on the back, she gives me the green colored eggs. What happened to your feathers? Did they get mussed up a little bit? Ugh, tail feathers are looking pretty sad. We just brought in the bookcases from the barn. Look how huge they are. This is, this is in my room, the big room. They're huge. In the barn, they didn't look as big in the picture, but this is huge. I don't know if you can get a visual of me in the mirror and the bookcase. Look at this. And this is only part of it. The other part's in the front. The other part is right here. This part belongs on top. This is the back side of it. Look at that. And the only thing you had to buy was the pocket screw, pocket, um, there was a tool that he used to make these pockets so that when the screws were put in, you hide the screw. Can't see the screw, the screw's hidden. All that's left to do is put them on the tarp and put the polyurethane on, and then they can go into the room. I have to move some things out of here still. I still have to move my um, rest of my karaoke stuff and Michael's stuff that we've been storing in here. And I have to move my copy machine and the magazine rack that's never been used for magazines. And put all my books. Some these are just some of them. I've got more upstairs. <laughs>